So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree and just exploring the map, exploring the Shadow Realm. I've just come across a catacombs, which I've never seen before. I explored it and I got some incredible loot and uh, not just defeating the boss at the end of it, but just throughout the actual place. Now there's quite a few hidden and secret paths, but I'll run you through the entire place today. The catacombs is called the Scorpion River Catacombs. For anyone wondering if they've been there, I'll show you the location of it in a quick second. But hey, first we'll get into the video. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. Turn if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the main weapon you get for defeating a boss in these catacombs is this thing right here. It's called a Death Knight's Long Shaft Axe. And not only does it allow you to like blink forward with some electricity coming out your ass but also guys you can follow this up with a heavy attack and bring that lightning down pretty cool to be honest it's a lot like uh the other one because there's another death knight i think there's three death knight bosses in this game or come from catacombs this is the third one i've seen uh, anyway it could be a fourth i'm not sure but this catacombs it's definitely the best one uh, so the weapon itself we'll take a quick look at before we look at the other loot you get from here uh, the Death Knight's Long Shaft Axe, it scales your strength, dexterity, and that faith. 23 in strength, 18 in faith, and 10 in dexterity. And we can see its unique skill Blink Bolt Long Hold Axe, which is basically what it just does. What I told, showed you it did, it's pretty cool. But it's also tons of other loot that come from here. So if we go to my recent items, you also get this a Lights, uh, Knight's Lightning Spear. We get this right here, which is actually what I'm wearing the Imp Head. It's not offer anything in particularly good to be honest, but it looks quite cool. We also get this right here, the Cerulean Amber Medallion Plus 3. Boost maximum FP by the utmost. And you also guys get this right here, the Black Knight Captain Hugh Summon Spirit. Pretty badass too, so these sound interesting to you. This is where you get them from, so right here on the map guys. Come all the way up here. This is the catacombs right there, the Scorpion River catacombs. Now to get to here, the closest grace I've got unlocked is the Temple Town Ruins. Next to that, we have to have the uh, Ancient Ruins base. And then we come through, guys. Well, it's actually not that way. You come through this way. And then we end up basically about there. And you can, can come around this way here. So the High Road Cross Grace is probably where we're going to start this mission from to run here. Uh, but as I normally do, guys, Timestamps will be down below for anybody who's got any of the other graces we pass by on luck so you can just skip straight to it But yeah, so we're gonna go here guys high road cross, but it is a quite a big catacombs It's got it's full of roots. It's full of loot. There's so much shit to grab in here So I thought I'd just do a quick guide on it Um, so from the you know, it's like that actually I just actually learned Are you gonna call me a noob here guys? We don't take the piss. See that says Skadu Otis. That actually Skadu Actually, he's pronounced Shadow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go here first. So we're going to run up to here. Just to make our way around here and come up this way. And then come down here and then come up this way. So it's quite a trek. It's going to take us a good five minutes to run here. But again, anyone who's got these um, ruins, uh, these graces, sorry, unlocked. Or if you've already got the catacombs unlocked, use the timestamps down below. Skip straight to it. So High Road Cross is where we're at. This is the first grace you come to after defeating Relena, Twin Moon uh, Knight. So yeah, straight here, guys. Okay, so we're going to make our way right. And we're going to come this way. Head northeast, and you'll see like a pool of water. That's where we want to be going to. Now, I can't tell in this game whether it's early morning or night time. It just it all looks the same to me. But hey, I'm just going to actually put my lamp on. I always brighten up my videos anyway because this game can get dark out of nowhere. So ignore this big old dirty dude here. Get away from me. And you want to come uh, through this pool of water here. This is where we need to be. You can see this pool of water. You are good. And then through here, guys, we have uh, like a, a statue there. We're going to run past this statue. There's a few annoying enemies on the way, but we can run straight past them. You ain't got to worry about that. Run past this big old dirty flower. Come down this uh, way. You see that pretty tree? Take a right. We're going to come up here. Just like this, people. And now, guys, we are right here. We can see on the map. Might want to let me show you because I'm in combat, so the game thinks. So, either or, we're just going to run straight this way. 
Going straight down this way. Ignore all these annoying ass birds, as you know, if you get too close to them. They shoot that uh, black stuff at you. Knocks you straight off your horse. So annoying. I'm just going to run straight down here. Straight down here. Don't even stop to look. Well, you can actually obviously search the area. There's probably things I've missed in this area, I'm not going to lie. But for now, for this guide, we're just going to get straight to the point. Okay, so it's going to come over here. And we're going to see a grace pretty soon. Which you obviously want to stop off and trigger if you haven't already. So you can see where we're at. And there's a grace right there, the raw base. Okay, so jump off. You can see where we're at. So now, guys, we're going to go down towards this grace right here. Just like so. That's where you want to be. So there you go. Good. Okay, so back on the mount. Back on the mount. There's two uh, fire giants here. I'm not sure if you call them fire giants. Like golems? What do you call them? I'm not even sure anymore. Uh, but there's one of them with a bow, one of them with a giant spear. Both hit pretty hard, but they're quite easy to avoid. Watch me get hit now. Watch me get hit now. So as soon as he pulls that back, jump. There you go. See that, that timing's perfection. I've actually got a build I'm bringing to you guys. I can take these like one shot. I literally just one hit them. And I got like 40k health, I think. Woo, bitch, you're too slow, man. Oh, okay. Take it back. I take it back. I apologize. Run. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna keep running forward and I got an itchy ass nose, man. There we go. So if you haven't got a map on that to that's where the map is picked up from. So that's pretty cool. And you'll see we'll get to that grace, it's just around this corner. Just keep coming this way. Avoid enemies. I mean, this is another area I haven't explored properly. So what I was doing, I was exploring this area and I come across this catacombs and I'm thinking, that's new. I haven't seen barely anyone even talk about this. Okay, so we're at the Temple Town Ruins Grace. I'm going to make our way around to here. I'm not going to lie, I just died on my way because I'm an absolute idiot. I took the wrong turn, but hey. Okay, so I'm just going to run forward. And here, guys, you want to stick left. Don't bother go right or try to go right like I tried to do. Just stick left. Because these guys here obliterate you with their... Annoying ass tracking and I'm stuck in trees. There we go. Let's shoot like that white gooey shit at you. And it just absolutely obliterates you. It's gonna grab them. Not go that way. Not go that way. Come up here. Now these birds up here as well will try to get your ass, will try to attack you. Let's run past them. From here guys, you wanna jump down but be careful here. You might lose a bit of health on your horse, but don't worry about it. Let's keep coming around this way. Just like so. And just follow this round to the left. Just stick into the left and you should be all good. There's actually a grace up there. Which I haven't got unlocked. I'm going to go and grab that while I'm here. Big boy in the water there. We want to ignore too. Okay, so this will be a grace we all want to unlock. And I can add it to the timestamps. So what grace is this? This is... Ah, oh, the ravine north. Okay, cool. So from Ravine North, people, jump back on your horse and head back around this corner. Just like so, people. Sticking to the left-hand side as well. There's going to be like, flying a home of bugs. We've got scorpions. We've got all kinds of madness around here. I was thinking, no way. Area I haven't seen anyone go to. I'm like thinking, yeah, there's got to be something around here no one's seen. And then I saw these catacombs and I'm thinking, whoa, hey, that's what we like to see. It gets, it was like this uh, when I did it about 20 minutes ago. I think it was just dark and musky and foggy and shit. Hey, keep coming this way, guys. Come to the very end and you'll see it right there. This is where we want to be. So we are now, guys, inside the Scorpion River catacombs. Let's call this lift because I've not long come out of here. Like I said, it's quite a big and puzzling catacombs. I'm not going to lie to you. There we go. Just sit down there. Okay, so from the Scorpion River catacombs, Grace is what we're going to do, guys. So I've come into this room and take a left straight away. Just like so. And run down here. Now, there's going to be a few hard hitting enemies in your way. Also, that guy up there, guys, you'll see an energy bar fill up. Energy bar, well, a 
basically an energy bar. Pardon me, a screen. If that fills up, you die from death blight, instant death, so be careful of that. So that black bar there, or that dark grey bar there, be careful of it. Let it cool down if it goes a bit too high. From here, take a left, guys. You want to come into this room right here, and then just jump down here, and just keep running forward. Keep running forward. Now, there's going to be bits and bobs all over these catacombs, but the best things I'll show you exactly where you get them. So, yeah. Oh, that guy's a pain in the ass. There's a bigger guy. There's a bigger version of him somewhere down here. I actually had so much trouble trying to get past him as well. Now, there's going to be something at the end of that room there, too, on that uh, body, but I don't think he's great. So, I did. Yep, yeah, just came this way. You want to enter this room here. Now, be careful because there's spikes there. I'm actually going to get on top of them. And to do this, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. But before we do that, there is, guys. The Spirit Summon is located at the very bottom or the end of this room right here. Careful, there's another spiky block that comes and lands on your head. You can see where those three enemies are down there. If you take them out, we don't even have to take them out. You can run and grab it. It is the Black Captain, uh, Black Knight Captain Hugh Spirit Ash, Spirit Summon, so. So yeah, grab that and then guys, you want to head back and get up this ladder right here. Just like this. Now we're going to jump on top of this right here we'll jump on this guys and you want to come forward and it'll come down and then you just want to run spirit and jump straight on it like that now if you jump off here i'm pretty sure this is only like a glove wart i don't think this thing right here is anything special i don't think it is at all so then guys you want to jump down here just like so and now we want to jump on it again but careful them eyes are out the other side of the room and they will fill up that bar so here guys just want to make that come down you want to try and time it and double jump well jump onto it not double jump if you can play destiny yeah so again when it falls there we go and up in here guys will be the imp lion head which is what i'm wearing right here people there we have it so we're going to push on now through the catacombs we're going to jump back on here we're going to jump off behind uh, that enemy there what will give us that death blighted now we're gonna come in here now at the end here guys in between those two enemies there is the um nice lightning spear uh i think it's an incantation let's have a quick look I can do the one attack me while i'm here yeah but you see it on the screen now guys yep the incantation just grab it and then come back and come up these steps right here then come around here guys I should run straight forward. Don't even stop for any of these enemies. And if you jump down here, guys, there's going to be a lift waiting for you. So I'm going to take that lift straight away. Take that lift. Well, I'll try and take it, but it's being so slow. Come get me, bitch. Okay, so come from the bottom, guys. You just want to go right at the very end here. Just keep coming. Keep coming. And then come down here. And you have to climb up at the other side. Be careful of those things because you don't want to be death blighted. So, yeah, and take a quick right like that, and there we're good from now forward. It's so coming to here, guys. Ignore this enemy, try and ignore that guy. There we go. And there's going to be a big version around this corner. I'm going to try and ignore him too. Not like me because that guy is a pain in my ass. How many times he killed me earlier? I just can't get around him. I still can't get around him because I'm just a noob. So, once we're in here, guys, there's going to be a couple of things you can do. There's an item up there which I'll go and grab in a quick second. I don't think it's anything special. But down here, right on this body, is a great ghost glove wart. So you want to grab that. Simple as that. Ignore the enemies and just come back up. Okay, so from here, people, you just want to do a U-turn and come run through here. I'll show you how to get back up there. Because there's an item up there. I don't think it's anything special. I'll show you how to get up there. So just keep coming this way. And you'll come to this point right here and you just want to jump down to your left just like that push you down here climb up these ladders and just climb to the top and it's going to be an i think it's a material of some sort it may be a rare material but hey so here guys you want to take this first door on your right and left hand side sorry go through it and you end up where you need to be and the body will be there from here guys just run to where we were uh, take it left jump down come this way just like this from here we take a right 
come to another lift. And now we head down. Nah, like, come on, jump down, come, jump down, jump down. That's what I thought. Boom. And then, guys, you enter the bus room. And really, it's as simple as that, guys. The bus isn't difficult whatsoever. Uh, well, it's, it's all right. It's not the hardest bus in the world. I don't think you will struggle. His name's a Death Knight. It's only a bit of gameplay on the screen now. I you just tear him apart. But hey, you get from him the Death Knight's Long Shaft Axe, which I showcased you at the start of the video. And you also get that Cerulean Amber Medallion Plus 3. So there you have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, I don't think be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.